both in fighting and in everyday life, you should be determined, though calm. Meet the situation without tenseness, yet not recklessly. Your spirit settled, yet unbiased. In all of our years competing, mental strength has been the one determining factor that separates the good from the great. You can go in there thinking that you got it all sorted, but if you will crumble under this pressure, you're just not destined to be the best. Mental strength in this scenario be being unbreakable and unfazed in a situation that would otherwise be stressful or high pressure for any other person. Simply put, it's keeping your cool. It simply, mathematically, reasonably, doesn't get closer than this. In the context of fighting games, mental strength correlates to your level of discipline. So the stronger you are mentally, the more disciplined you'll be, which will mean you will stay in line with your game plan. And so long as your game plan is intelligently thought out to the point where the only limiting factor can be you, you will see results so long as your mind doesn't falter from the path that you've laid out. For both players, Aquaman. Come on! It's what gamblers bet on the most, and here we go to my final game. Final round between the two, and even though he's blocked overhead 14 times in a row, he's got on the low two! And an absurd flawless block gets Foxy back on top and sends Sub-Zero and Gambler back to the corner. Of which, the wake of retreat, he gets frozen! Nightwolf gets the reflect! And a full combo now for Foxy, who gets another command grab ender. This is Sub-Zero, though! He can always bring it back! Gambler, big damage, and he's doing the Sub-Zero! No! Disrespected to hit him, and it's a down three, and it is going to be a Foxy Grandpa! Foxy Grandpa takes an extremely close match! And I feel like he's just looking for... Generally speaking, the way of the warrior is resolute acceptance of death. Acceptance of death in terms of tournaments is understanding you can lose, but at the same time, you don't believe you're going to lose. If you ask any of these top players, they're not going to tell you they're going to go and lose. This is our acceptance of death. A true warrior doesn't fear it, and lesser men will break under the same pressure. An excellent example of the acceptance of death and mental strength is Goichi versus Leffen. Goichi was dead to rights. He knows this, he's accepted the fact that he could die here, but the strength he has to carry on and remain completely calm was enough to bring him back into the game and it made one of the greatest sets probably in fighting game history. Bear in mind, Leffen is a truly worthy opponent and to come back three characters down when you're one touch from death shows incredible composure. This is literally remaining determined though calm and meeting the situation without tenseness and yet not recklessly and his spirit was settled yet unbiased. These characteristics of calm, composure, confidence, patience, they're all consistent amongst top players in any game. Another great example I believe is Problem X. You know, if you watch his bison, he does a lot of nothing and that is because he knows that he can wait and you'll break before him. By breaking, you're going to do the one mistake that is required for him to secure a win. Up at that range. And Akuma, he doesn't, he doesn't want to have to go to the uppercut option. So risky. Oh, the absorb. And now a new threat appears. Try to dash forward. Trying to chase Tokido down. 
If you compare this mentality to those of players of a lesser calibre, even using the same character, you'll typically see more erratic decision making, panic options, lack of patience, and essentially they're choosing to be the one that breaks, and a lot of the time that's without good reason, which ultimately causes them to be defeated. The B reversal knocks him down. Oh, that should be punishable! Oh. And it's now! And there it is! Problem X has taken Evolution 2018, and all of UK is outlaid! They have run up there to swarm him. Tokido has been sent home in second place. And he will hold that. Is it a big day? Subscribe! So something about all of this is what makes it so interesting to me is that I see these characteristics in all, the, all my peers around me in the fighting game community. And even when I was playing Halo competitively, I saw it in that as well. But in other things that I do, like the Muay Thai, I see that same quality of person in that as well. Like among the various champions that have trained at the same gym, I see the same qualities. They're calm, level-headed. I think the whole acceptance of death thing applies to them as well. They don't ever think that they're going in there to just get punched up. He's gonna have to get in because Fox's variation will outzone him. And I think this supports my idea that mental strength is what makes a champion. Obviously, Musashi was on to the right point because his philosophy is timeless, ageless. Like, I didn't even know about it before, not even that long ago, but I acquired the knowledge myself and then realized that it's already been done. And another quality that a champion seems to have is they may be beaten or defeated in whatever their field is, but that doesn't mean that they're defeated in its entirety. They're just gonna keep coming back, they keep gonna get better. They're like the Terminator, they can't be bargained with, can't be reasoned with, absolutely will not stop ever. I think that's the mentality you need, the mentality that a champion has, and I've seen it in so many things now. I just, it can't be coincidence. Maybe I've got some champions watching this video. Then it could be anything, right? Circle drawing championship, watermelon eating championship. Whatever it is, you have to be doing something better than the next guy, right? So if you know a champion or are one, give me a message in the comments. Tell me what you think about this because I think it's interesting, the psychology of competition and all that. And other than that, thank you for watching. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.